Sure, so the Foxtrot trial is the first trial to look at giving neoadjuvant chemotherapy in locally advanced colon cancer. So, of course, neoadjuvant treatment is um, standard of care for many other cancers, including um, GI cancers, including gastric cancer. But this is the first time that the um, where, where we've tested giving neoadjuvant chemotherapy in colon cancer. And the Foxtrot trial was really quite simple. What we were trying to do is to see whether giving treatment, systemic treatment earlier on in the patient journey will lead to tumour responses, will lead to better resection, surgical resections, but most importantly, to see whether we could in increase the cure rate so that was the main, the main rationale behind the trial um, and we had to just be very careful that we were also going to see that it was safe and there wasn't any um, repercussions in terms of surgical safety as well. So that was an important consideration for the trial. If I just discuss the design very quickly, so it was a very simple trial. Patients were radiologically staged to have locally advanced colon cancer. And what happened in the trial was either they had standard treatment, which was upfront surgery followed by adjuvant chemotherapy, or in the novel arm of the trial, six weeks of planned chemotherapy was given ahead of the operation. So patients had six weeks of full fox, they went for their surgical resection, and then after the operation, they continued the duration of adjuvant chemotherapy. So patients were randomised two to one. Um, and what we saw was that the trial met its primary endpoint and we did see a reduction in recurrences, so a 5% re reduction in recurrences at two years in the patients who were treated with neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Other positive um, results were very consistent efficacy results in terms of tumour downstaging and we found that it was safe so there wasn't any more chemotherapy toxicity but really importantly there wasn't any additional surgical morbidity. If anything, there were fewer um, perioperative complications in patients who had had neoadjuvant chemotherapy. The other really interesting thing was that we, we tried to understand, well, is there a group that really benefited the most from this approach? Because this is a, a, a different whole patient pathway and we found a couple of things. So patients with the most locally advanced tumours, with T4 tumours, seem to benefit most from upfront chemotherapy. And really importantly and consistently with all of the data with immunotherapy, patients with deficient mismatch repair or MSI high tumours also appeared to benefit less from upfront chemotherapy.